Hey YouTube, I'm doing a thing. This is the beginning of my van life journey. Um, it's time, it's time. I'm tired of paying these high rents. It's absolutely nuts because I've worked in low income and affordable housing for almost 30 years. The past five years I've worked with chronically homeless, disabled, it's a long story, keeping them housed, making sure they didn't get evicted. Anyways, I have a lease until November, um, but I am letting somebody stay there. And, you know, it's a one-bedroom apartment. And anyway, it's a long story, but we'll get there. But for, for now, my name is Michelle. My band's name is Shelby. I like to be gone. I like to be out in nature. I like to do things. I like to see things. Um, I love tiny spaces. I always have. So this is the beginning for me. Um, my van's name is Shelby, Shelby Van Gone. So when you hear me say Shelby, you know I'm talking about Shelby Van Gone, my home. So what I'm doing is, until my lease expires, I am going to be paying a couple hundred bucks a month to um, basically park at a family friend's house um, when I need to. I don't intend to be here all the time, but... In the meantime, um, I have, Shelby is a 95 Ford Econoline E150 cargo van, low top. So I'm working on it. Um, it's a mess. I'm overwhelmed, but I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, my kids are adults. My four kids are adults. They're supportive. My grandchildren think it's the best thing since sliced bread. They absolutely love it. They're 10 and 6. But um, they just can't wait for me to get together so they can come in here and hang out. Right now it's not safe because there's nails and screws and all the things everywhere. But um, I don't really know. You know, I, I don't really know. It's, it's calling to me. Um... The industry that I've been in and love helping um, has changed so much. There, uh, it just, it's just heartbreaking. It's just so heartbreaking. There are people that want to be housed and can't be housed. They're chronically homeless. They have um, mental disabilities, and it's, you know they they need help. People need help. But anyway, I said I wasn't going to cry. I'm just so passionate about it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, on the good times. On the good times. I am happy with what I have. Um, I paid twenty nine hundred for it. It has a. Um, it was one owner. I ran the Carfax. All the maintenance records are there. Um, when I bought it, it had one hundred and fifty two thousand miles on it. Um, it's in. It's in good shape, but. Anyway, let me show you a little bit of what I am doing. Um, I've got this stand here that I got from Ikea. I have a mattress that I had in my apartment that is way too big. I'll, I'll work on that. I need to figure that out rather quickly. And then I have a couple things going over here. I'll get you a better video soon. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed. I mean, I usually don't show your home or your space. I don't with my crap everywhere, but I'm going to do it. I'm feeling brave. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm excited. I actually really love working on this. Um, I've done some things that are kind of not the quote unquote normal. I don't have wood everywhere. I, I'm trying to keep the weight down in terms of wood because... I love to drink water. I probably drink eight or nine bottles in a 24-hour period every single day and half for many years, so I need to have lots of water with me. That's where the weight will be. Um, I did not use wood, as you can see on the roof. I use this, I don't even know what it's called. I need to find out what it's called because I need to get some more. Um, I am gonna change the screws because they are silver. Don't look at that. Don't look at that.
because they are silver I think white screws will make it look a little more polished um, I just discovered white screws recently um, so that'll take care of that and then I need to get another sheet of this so my goal is to get another sheet and then cut it into strips to cover this and that back there and maybe take it down I think it might take it down and start it like I don't know I don't know in my head I think I have this thing figured out and then I get all over the place well oh look what I found look I got this at five below. I love this so much. I can't even begin to tell you. Oh, I just absolutely love it. It's so stinking cute and adorable. My granddaughter wants her, but I absolutely refuse. So I'm gonna have to pick her up one though because she doesn't really, she's tangent. It really doesn't ask me for much. So I'm gonna go see if they have another one, but I just absolutely adore it. I love my van so much. I've had, um, I've always been a car chick. I've had the, um, you know nice cars and sports cars and that kind of stuff and I really really like them but there's something about this van that I just absolutely love like mm, like I can't even begin I just can't begin to tell you how much I love this van um, it's gonna allow me freedom it's gonna allow me to save money not be stressed not live paycheck to paycheck I'm still working um, I stepped down a few levels. I found a job as a leasing agent where I don't have to work weekends and it's gonna be, I'm gonna work that job for a few months because I don't have AC and I'm in Florida. It's miserable. So while I can park at my friend's house, um, they have a portable AC that I'm gonna be able to use, which is actually gonna be amazing. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to get through this. And then I can figure out something else. Um, down the line. I do have a um, 800 watt Bluetti EB70S that has just been amazing for me. Um, I'm not sure it's enough power to run a refrigerator as I would like to, but I have like a refrigerator cooler. But it's a good start and since I will mostly be parked at least during the week um, for the next two maybe three months I'll be parked um, at my friend's house smooch docking I think they call it I think I saw somebody reference it as smooch docking which I that's right I don't know I think that's cute I'm kind of corny in case you haven't noticed um, yeah that's me so I won't keep this too long because I don't know what to do I don't know I don't know but I'm gonna figure this out please um, let me know where you are in your journey. Have you been doing this for a day, a month? Are you thinking about it? Um, when I thought about it, I thought about it. I couldn't think about anything. Like, I couldn't even sleep. I loved it so much. I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually coming to fruition. Um, so yeah, and then when, when my family friend, I've, I've known them for like 20 years, when they said they just had their driveway paved, because they have someone else who is going to be parking here, but he has a travel trailer. And so they, they made space for three people, three car dwellers to park for $200 a month. And that covers water for showering if you wanna shower indoors and power. Um, just, the, just the sweetest, sweetest couple. So anyway, I'm really, really, I'm super excited. Um, they just got it done last week and now here I am. I, I just happened to be talking to them in a generic conversation and it came up and they were like, hey, come over and stay. And I was like, what? Yes. And this guy has a bunch of tools that I can use also, so. Yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to my I'm sure there will be minty rants, but my rants, my raves, my happy moments, my cheesiness, because I'm cheesy and corny. Um, 
and my mistakes and my all the things I don't make a lot of money I, I kind of did pretty okay for a while but I don't now because I, I can't take the stress anymore oh my gosh I'm crying again I can't even talk about it but anyways I'm really happy with this job I've been there I went there as a temp for a couple weeks and they offered me a position I'm off on weekends I don't have to manage people I don't have to deal with all the stress so I'm super happy um, anyway I am going to use one of these that I've got at Target and I'm going to lay it down so that it is horizontal and I'm gonna put my like t-shirts and jean shorts and those kinds of things and slide it under my bed we'll see how that works I'll keep you posted let me know how you store your clothes as for now thank you again Shelby Van Gone peace